Hiya, welcome to your laser tag party. So the guns, they will talk to you. It will tell you when the game starts. It will tell you when the game ends. It will tell you when you've been tagged and it will tell you when you've tagged someone else. So you're going to start off in your two bases. We're going to have one base over there and one base over there. So you start off in your bases and then your marshal will start your game. You will hear game start, which indicates that the game has started and then you can pull the trigger. So the trigger is here, this orange button. You can pull the trigger and it will start off as a machine gun. You've got a black button on the right hand side of your gun. You can press that from the bottom and you'll hear a little click and it changes it to a sniper or a single shot fire, which goes a little bit further for those sniper positions. On the left hand side of your gun, you've got a red button. The red button is to reload. So if you want to reload manually, you can press that red button or after 30 bullets of use, then it will reload for you automatically. As I said, these guns talk to you, tells you when the game starts, ends, when you've been tagged and when you've tagged someone else. So if I tag someone else, my gun will say tagged. So if you hear the word tagged, that's great. That means you've got a point. It means you've tagged the other person. So we're here an example. Tagged. So if you get tagged, then your gun will make a scream. That's bad news. So any screams that you hear are bad news. Any words that you hear coming out your gun are good news. So tagged, deactivated is good news. Deactivated already is also good news. So I'll tag them again and it will get louder and louder that scream. So you get five lives for this game. Each time you get tagged, it gets louder and louder. There's a small recovery second. So if I tag them and then tag them again, then there's a, a few seconds recovery just so you could have the option to hide and then recover as well. So on your last life, you hear a loud scream like that. And now this person has been deactivated. If I try and tag them again, it says deactivated already, which means that they're deactivated already and you just want to stop shooting them and shoot someone else. So once you've been deactivated, this bit's really important. So once you've been deactivated, the way to know is a bit similar to the, the game over. Your gun will stop shooting, so you won't be able to shoot. The best way to know that you've been deactivated is to look through your red dot sight. So it might be a smaller one, it might be a larger one. So look through your red dot sight. If the red light's on, then you're still alive, okay? If the red light's off, then you've been deactivated. So the best way to check, you just look through, my red light's off, and now I know that I've been deactivated. So what I now do is I'm gonna head back to my base. So I'll go back to my base. It won't work on the other team's base. I head back to my base and I'll find my medic box, my health pack. And it will be on the ground with the sensor pointing to the sky. And as you probably heard there, my gun just said reactivated. Reactivated means I'm back in the game and I've got another five lives and I can start shooting again and I'm back in. So the objective of this game is to try and tag the other team as much as you can and the team that goes back to their box and reactivates the least amount of times will win. So the team with the least amount of reactivations will win. So if the red, they go back 10 times and the blues, they go back eight times, then the blues will win because they've got the smallest number. There's a few rules. So laser tag is great fun and safe. You can shoot each other in the eye and it doesn't damage your eye. But please don't get too close to one another. So we normally say keep a good two meter distance. Okay, don't to get too close, keep a two meter distance because if you get too close to one another with these guns, they are heavy, they are solid and they will hurt, okay? So these guns can shoot up to 100 meters. So use all the area provided, lots of hiding, lots of tactics and enjoy yourself and don't get too close, okay? Remember, so the main things, as we said, Tagged is good news. Deactivated is better news. Screams are bad news. If you think you've been deactivated, you can check. If the red light's on, you're still alive. If it's off, then you've been deactivated. You go back to your base, you reactivate. It will say reactivate, and then you're back in the game with another five lives. At the end of the game, the game, the guns will say game over. So once the game's over, you can no longer shoot. 
and then you want to regroup and then you can tell each other your individual scores and your team scores. I'm just going to quickly tell you how to read your scores and then you can go and play. So on the back of your gun, you've got your screen, your screen, and it will say at the top game stats. If you pull the trigger again, it would also say session stats. So session stats are from all the games added up. And then the game stats are from the game that you just played. So T, the letter T, T is the amount of people that you've tagged. D, D is the amount of people that you've deactivated. S, S is the amount of times that you've gone back to your box and you've respawned and you've got more lives. A, A is your accuracy percentage overall of that game. So T is tagged, D is deactivations, S is how many times you've gone back to the box, and A is your accuracy percentage. And your marshals will read you your scores by picking up both of the boxes. And if the reds, they've gone back 10 times, and now the blues have gone back eight times, then the blues would win with the smallest number. Have fun, have a great time, and don't get too close to one another.